Hey friends, Vanessa here with The Taste Buzz and I need to let you know why I think you have to go to westpalmbeachfoodtour.com and book your tour today. This was such a highlight of our trip to West Palm Beach. We started off at ER Bradley's and I ordered this frosé, which was absolutely delicious. It was $14 and it wasn't included in our tour and I didn't need it because honestly, there's so much food on this tour, you don't need to add anything to it. But it was a great way to start the day, I feel. They brought out these delicious pastelitos with guayaba and cheese inside. They were from a Cuban cafe nearby. They were just really good, definitely worth trying. They also gave us some Cuban coffee to try and gave us a little backstory about the way that food is dispersed in Cuba, which was very interesting. How is it, everyone? Very good. Oh, very good. Delicious. Is that how it's been? Yeah. Very good. Delicious. Uno, two, three, four. Next, they introduced us to some of ER Bradley's signature cuisine, including these mahi-mahi tacos that were fresh and so flavorful. The girls really enjoyed trying them as well, and they were a big hit. Once we finished up those delicious mahi-mahi tacos, we strolled on over under the Florida sunshine to Sloan's Ice Cream, a Florida must. This place is incredible. Just walking through it, it's so beautiful, so much to see, vibrant colors everywhere. And we were lucky enough to try the Coconut Storm, which is a creamy coconut ice cream with shredded coconut. It was delicious. They have an incredibly vast selection of different ice creams to try, so many to choose from. This is a good time to introduce you to our tour guide, Rahim, who was incredibly knowledgeable about everything in downtown West Palm Beach. He shared so much information. I feel like this was not just a food tour, but also a West Palm Beach history tour, full of fun facts and tidbits of the town that we had no idea about before, including this gorgeous banyan tree that he walked us over to. The tree roots actually grow from the branches down to the floor. Pretty incredible. We headed on over to Pistache, a beautifully unique French bistro and cafe, and we had no idea all of the delicious food that we had waiting for us. They proceeded to introduce us to this incredible sandwich that you see right here. Feast your eyes on the Croque Monsieur, a sandwich made of roasted ham and cheese, gruyere, and bechamel. Something out of a fairy tale novel. This meal was just so delicious. Alongside the sandwich was a very light salad with some lemon vinaigrette. Just right. So many different flavors going on, but it just blends lemon and herbs and just all into the dressing. Just a perfect, light, delicious sandwich. One of the coolest things about walking from restaurant to restaurant is passing all of the gorgeous street art West Palm Beach has to offer. We took lots of pictures and video of the beautiful murals on the walls. Birds Film and Dewey always was the one who showed them around the community, who also celebrated the culture and the uh, local plant and animal life of the area. Well, historically, she's considered one of the earliest conservationists in there. She had an incredible passion for the area, and she showed this for her wonderful hospitality, so the Venture Basso wants to extend that tradition today. If you 
take the elevator in the bend all the way up to their outdoor patio, you're gonna see a beautiful view off of Spruzzo Restaurant. This place is gorgeous and worth a visit all on its own. wondering if it's worth doing a walking tour in the Florida heat and I'm here to tell you that yes it is this tour is worth it yes it's gonna be hot and sunny but it's such a nice walk you're gonna really enjoy it and every single restaurant that you pop into has ice water ready for you strolling the streets of downtown West Palm Beach and enjoying all of the murals and the scenery is something that is so nice if you want to get to know the city this is absolutely I feel one of the best ways to get to know this community We stopped on over at Kapow Noodle Bar. This place is worth a visit with or without a tour, honestly. The food was so good, the ambiance was really incredible, and there's a really nice outdoor patio as well that we're gonna check out in a bit. throughout this tour I thought was absolutely delicious but of course I've got a five-year-old with me and five-year-olds are a little bit picky sometimes and she wasn't too big of a fan of the general so's cauliflower she was however very good at trying it so I got to give her some credit for sure the kitchen is nice and open so you can smell all of the different flavors that are being cooked up as well one of the chefs come out and give us a little bit of information on all of the food that we were trying. With a lot of these fun experiences, I really do feel like they saved the very best for last, and in this case, Ganache Bakery was no exception to that rule. Chef Jamal, who has previously been featured on the Food Network, owns this bakery along with his beautiful wife, and they gave us a behind-the-scenes look at all of the delicious bakery treats that they make. Baking Championship Season 4. Absolutely. Came to taste, they were like, "This is the best." What else? Oh yeah, that's great. He's got his time. He deserves that credit, right? Yeah. If you guys look, you can see how full it is on the inside. Wow. You see how it's full to the to brim. The brim. You see it over there, where they go? Let me come around see you can see it. Oh, that's so nice. Do you see it? You see the water there? 
Yeah. It's yeah. cool, right? How much water we get? The average is 8 to 16 ounces, and this is a 32 ounce container. See, so we got about 16 ounces. Nice. Which is good, right? Yeah. So on the inside of this one, see how huge it is on the inside? So you remember I told you there's more fibers on the top? So you see how the fibers are thinner on the bottom compared to the top, it gets thicker and wider. So that's why it's easier to cut from the bottom. And this meat is still a young meat, that's why we have a lot of water. So as the meat, meat grows, it gets thicker to about a quarter inch or so, and then we won't have as much water. Superfoods in the world, coconut oil. He's gonna teach you about this little guy. Mm -hmm. You guys on the other side. Wonderful, yeah. thank you, Chef. Do you guys see that? It yeah. reveals the tamarind pot. So it's kind of sticky. It's almost like a big, like consistency. And so you take this, you put it in very, very hot water, and you begin to stir it up. You'll find that the pulp pulls away from the seeds on the inside to basically uh, to produce this wonderful fruity flavor. You add, you have to add sugar because it's incredibly sour on its own. But in this case, just enough sugar, and this is what you get. With a little bit of a sour finish to it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See? I'm so happy you tried it. Alicia. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it's a little sour. So Oh, and I cannot fail to mention that there is key lime pie, and not just any old key lime pie. This is Ganache Bakery key lime pie, some of the best we've ever tasted. You're gonna love it. It is the perfect way to end an incredible tour and an incredible day here in West Palm Beach. If you want, you can share it with your family, all right? Yay! Um, so, uh, I don't know what your favorite flavor is, but if you want to go next door, they'll help you figure out which flavor you want to bring home, okay? So I'll do my best to tell you what each one is. On the left, we have a carrot cake. The green one here is a key lime cupcake. Then this beautiful one all sprinkles is vanilla vanilla. I believe these are more vanilla vanillas here. Red velvet. This is banana dolce de leche on the right. And then at the bottom is kind of a bun style cake. Yum. Which one do you want to try? Liana? The sprinkle? That one or which one? The mermaid looking one? Okay, I think we're gonna go with this mermaid looking one. Right here? Yeah. All right, we'll get you this one, it's bigger. Perfect. Does that sound good? What do you say? Look at that. Say it louder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.